Good morning, this is Brian Blair here, again to provide an update on my Girl Scout journey and the research that we found. I'm here rocking our proud new troop pink Girl Scout shirt. Uh, a little pride in the organization that we're supporting. Our girls are doing great with our cookie sales this year. I had our first booth the other day and we're doing good things. But on top of that, I've continued my research into my Girl Scout journey and the things that we'd like to be able to do. Uh, this week we talked with three gurus and SX customers about our revenue pricing streams. Main changes to our business model canvas actually involves revenue stream. What we went back to is looking at the model that scoutbook.com has successfully implemented over the last three years. Instead of charging per girl, they make it free, make it free for every scout. What that does is it gets a lot of people interested in using it as a personal thing and also it comes across as a free value to the scouts. The actual pricing or charges come from the troop and the troop leadership. So it's free for a Girl Scout to use to track her personal progress. But if the troop wants to use it to tie people together on calendars, communication, uh, track everyone's advancement all at once, then they could enroll in the premium subscription. What that does is it will also give us some leverage when we approach the Girl Scouts of the USA about a licensing agreement, which we're going to need to use their images and branding of the different badges and symbols and actually the word Girl Scouts is actually trademarked by them as well. And so to do that we need to show that we're providing a service to the organization. Some of the sustains that come out of our research this year, or this week I'd say, uh, is the support for the subscription service uh, but also making it free for the girls. We had a lot of positive response to the idea of, of using a subscription service targeted at the troop leadership. Uh, the proposed pricing starting between $10 to $40 seems to be the right range and that they all expect a 30 day free, tri free trial period and they expect that that 30 days would be a long enough free trial period for them to appreciate the benefits of the site and want to actually enroll in the subscription. What we need to refine is the, the pricing tiers where we would start charging ten dollars versus fifteen dollars versus twenty dollars etc uh, we can look at scoutbook.com's model but they're based on boy scout troops which are uh, traditionally much larger than girl scout troops and so we need to narrow that band down a little bit for us some of the approves that came out of this we had a proposal to offer discounts for referring friends to the program or for early renewals. What we learned from our questions and interviews was at first those that were likely to take advantage of those discounts were probably people that were going to refer their friends and resubscribe early anyway. So we may be foregoing profits and revenues uh, and actually getting no real benefit out of it. Also Girl Scouts recruit in the fall when they restart their, their troops every year and so they actually don't know what their membership is until then. So if we're working off of a pricing model that is based on the number of members they don't know what their membership is until the fall anyway and so early renewal may not be much of an option and so as an iteration we need to go back and review if these are incentives that we want to continue to pursue and if so how do we structure them to actually get benefit for the revenue that we're foregoing on the pivots last week a grew that i talked to suggested that we focus on in-app purchases over website registration. His claim was that the current generation is used to doing a single swipe with a finger on their phone to pay for something through their established account with the Apple Store or the Android Store. And that's a lot easier and easier to get customers to actually make a payment instead of actually going on the website and registering. We found for our target audience in a question interview that this isn't necessarily the case. And here's why. Most troops I have to use their troop account which is controlled by the Girl Scout Council and they have a limited use debit card to do that with and so they it's easier for them to actually go on a website and use that debit card directly instead of using their personal Apple store account and then having to go back and requesting a reimbursement for their own personal purchase through the Apple store it's just simpler more straightforward for them to use their, their troop account and it's easier for them to account for it at the end of the year and so we're going to focus on doing that uh, payment directly through the website. Well, I appreciate your interest, your time, your support. These are the things that we've learned this week. We look forward to moving ahead into the next week, taking this knowledge and moving forward. Again, this is uh, Brian Blair with My Girl Scout Journey. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Thank you.